Nine years ago, I had an idea while working at my day job, which I figured out a way to bring to market, sell it, distribute it, and essentially build a company in nine years that's now one of the fastest growing companies in the United States. It's, um, it is quite an amazing story. I can't, I, I can't even at times believe that this is happening to me, that it has happened, and that it continues to happen. Um, and I think the important thing that I'm starting to discover now is that just as important as it is to to work and to strive to build a company, to be successful, uh, it's just as important to have something as a sort of counterbalance, um, something that motivates you, that drives you beyond um, pure financial success, um, something that inspires you. Um, and for me, what that is, is becoming more about inspiring others through the story of Dynamite and what we've created. Um, this is really an American dream. It is uh, the, the tangible example of what people say when they think of the American dream of someone having an idea for a product, learning how to bring it to market, how to produce it, how to distribute it, sell it around the world, and become one of the fastest growing companies in the United States. Um, it's just incredible. I, you know, for me to stand here and to, to told you nine years ago, I was joking that I was going to be the head of a corporation, a multi-million dollar corporation. It's funny that I was joking about it, but somewhere in my mind, I, I was serious. And uh, I think if there's something I want to impart to other people, it's about having the tenacity to hold on to your dreams, to hold on to those those hopes, because um, those are the things that are going to define you. Because this is not an easy path. Like I said, it's, it challenges you. And uh, there were many times in this nine years where I just didn't know where we were going to go. I didn't know what was going to happen, whether we were going to even survive. Um, um, there were times I just wanted to hide under my desk, you know, and there were times that I, I was, I would just cry, not knowing what to do or how to get out of this situation. Sometimes it just seemed insurmountable, but somehow in that experience, I was still able to muster up enough courage to continue, to not stop and to not give up. And I think that in the end is the one thing that made the difference as to why I'm here now and um, why Dynamite has become so successful. It's just never letting go of your dreams. Um, and then if there's anything that I want to impart to other people um, in the legacy of Dynamite, it's that I want the company to be a model for other people's aspirations and um, an inspiration, hopefully, that uh, to show people that we we can do this, people can do this. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. But nothing of great value has ever been just handed over. And uh, the experience, although challenging, although honestly, really, probably one of the toughest things I've ever done the toughest thing I've ever done, I'm not kidding, but really an amazingly rewarding uh, experience which has taught me and, and shaped me in so many ways that I can't, uh, I can't describe, but I hope that uh, people seeing this video take from this that Dynamite uh, is about uh, being mighty, and I hope that you all uh, take a bit of this inspiration craft your own dreams, your own uh, inspirations, and follow them, because, uh, because you can, and because you should, and because you've got this chance, this one shot, and uh, if you're going to do it, do it, and, and then just 
never look back, never give up, uh, and be mighty.